So let's start. Here, the first exercise. Most of you, a maioria de vocês errou a letra C apenas. Então, na letra A, como fica? How much or how many? How many? How many? Letter B, time. How much or many? How much? How much? Letter C, pizza do you eat in one week? Aqui how foi... many? How much? Se fosse aquele que saber no geral, no total, que você come, por isso tem o much. É como se fosse algo incontável. Vai, em uma semana aí você não consegue contar quantos pedaços de pizza. Letter D. Pieces. How many? How many? How many? Meals. Much. How much? How much não, how many, né? Aqui são quantas refeições. Você consegue comer às vezes o café, o almoço e a janta, por exemplo. Letter uh -huh. F. Money. How much? How much? Aqui algumas pessoas se confundiram e escreveram a small, a small number or amount or a big number and amount. Quando na verdade era para escrever a little, a few or a lot. She puts of milk. A little. A little. He has of friends from China. A few. A few. Can I have? Of a little. A little. I have. A little. A few things or a little things. Eu considerei, acho que eu considerei os dois. I eat. A lot. A lot, a lot ou então lots. Tá, os dois estavam certos. There are. A lot. Lots of fish in this tank. I like. Lots of types of food. Letter A. Aqui era para completar com there is or there are. There. Is. Is a chair. Letter B. There. Are. Are, are. are flowers. Aqui estão no plural. Letter C. There. Is. Is. Porque só tem one, a light. Letter D, there. Is. Is a rug in front of the table. Letter E, there. Are. Are toys behind the couch. Read the text and answer what things are not typical. So what things are not typical in the text? Do you remember? No? It's the amount of food that they need to eat. Especially Michael Phelps. Unscramble the words to complete the sentence. The first one is? Uh, nutrition. Nutrition. Letter B. Food has uh, calories. Calories. See, someone in the Olympic is an in? Athlete. Yes. Michael Phelps, H? Pizza. 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 A good food for athletes is? Uh, bread. 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 Six. Put the words in the correct order, then check your sentence by reading the text again. Letter A. Too much sugar is not good for anyone. Too, too much sugar is not good for anyone. B. Mm. 
They need health food. They need healthy foods. Good, they need health foods. Letter C. Uh, he had three egg sandwiches. He had egg sandwiches. D. How many calories do an athlete need? Good. Letter E. Michael Phelps ate 2,000 calories a day. And write the correct answer. Michael Phelps is? Is? An athlete? Yes. Letter B. Needs a 2,000. Person. Typical person. Typical person needs 2,000 calories a day. Letter C. It's not good to eat too much. Sugar. Sugar. Michael Phelps ate two pounds of, of pasta. Of pasta. A good food for athletes is eggs. Eggs. Good. Easy or difficult? Oh, easy. Easy. Okay, going back to your book, page 151, 151, lá na página 151, review the unit 5. Complete the sentence, build, sell, make, grow, or bake. Did you do your homework? Vocês preencheram a lição? So number one, yes. our store is far from where I live. Do you? Sell. Sell your art online too? Então, o sell aqui já foi usado. We can't our own vegetables because we live in an apartment building. Building, sorry. Grow. Uh, grow. grow. My roommate loves to? They always have fresh cakes, cookies, and bread to eat. Add bake. Bake. I'm learning how to my own clothes. Bake. Bake my own clothes. My brother plans to a new house. Right now he's buying the wood and other materials. And the last one is? Build. Build. Choose the best time expression for each sentence. I'm eating lunch sometimes these days or at the moment. Can I call you back in an hour? Uh, at the moment? At the moment. He's doing it right now. My sister right now today often goes to art museums and galleries. Uh, often. Often. These days, never. Today, I live with a roommate. And then, uh, so, never. No, you can use these days and today. Pode ser uma das duas. Ultimamente, né? Hoje em dia, ou então hoje. My friend and I are working on a creative project. Always right now or never? Uh, right now. Right now. Today, these days, sometimes I'm baking a big cake for my friend's birthday. And today. Today. Match the words to the definitions. Grow slowly, increase your change into something else. Improve. Designing. Improve. Make something look more attractive by adding things to it. 
Aliás, aqui eu improve and here is develop. Do primeiro develop. Number one and number two. Become better or make something better. Decorate. Give a set of instructions to a computer. A program. Program. Put or arrange things into a system or order. Uh, organize. Organize can be uh, number six. Something important that happens. Event. Uh, event. A way of dressing or doing something that people like and try to copy for a time. It's a design. Choose the correct form of the verb. Today we are study, studying or to study for being test. Uh, studying. I would like learn learning or to learn how to build in a program robot. Uh, learn. To, learn. to learn. What do you do, doing or to do for fun? Do. Do. My friend often bakes baking or to bake cakes. Baking. My friend often bakes cakes. Aqui, ó. My friend é a terceira pessoa. Tem que ter o um Szinho aqui. We decided not to take or to take the class. Not to take. Not to take the class. My phone isn't to work, working to work at the moment. Working. Working. Something that is happening right now. And the last exercise, number five, complete the paragraph with the correct form, the correct verb forms. Sarah is not a professional artist, but she Sarah é a terceira pessoa aqui, ó. She, que que eu uso no finalzinho do verbo? Enjoys. Enjoys, é só acrescentar o S. DIY project. She makes makes again. So I can say that wise. Beautiful things like handmade bird houses, jewelry, and clothes. She would like like to play his Decorate uh, like cakes to. But said and Sarah. Uh, isn't isn't very good at baking. Right now she. Takes. Is taking, né, ó, agora. She's taking a drawing and painting class because she... Wants. Wants to improve. Aqui dá para usar os dois. Tem que colocar só o to aqui para separar os dois verbos e o s no final do antes porque é a terceira pessoa. Her art skills. Also, she... Uh, paints. Paints her living room walls. And she? Plans to edge. Plans to edge. Mais uma vez acrescento o S aqui. E o to para separar os dois verbos. Some of her own special designs. On Friday, na sexta-feira, nós faremos mais um daqueles quiz com as perguntinhas da Unit 5. Ok? Bem simplesinho, dessa vez tem 
menos questões. What makes a good, uh, we are going to start uh, unit six, a good neighborhood. What makes a good neighborhood? What do you think, Beatriz? Uh, a good neighborhood? I don't know. Monique? Uh, silence. <laughs> silence. Uh, Freitas, what makes a good neighborhood? Uh, teacher, uh, how do you say, tipo, uma confiança, sabe? Uh, to be trustful. They trust uh, each other, they help each other. Yes, is it. Good. Camila? Friendly. Friendly, they are friendly. Mm. Delgado, what makes a good neighborhood for you? Uh, calm, teacher. If my neighborhood is calm. Okay. So, exercise number two match the places to the picture bakery, a department store, a grocery store, ATM, shopping mall, farmer's market. Gym and hairdresser. What are the places? The first picture, what is it? A uh, hairdresser. Hairdresser. Okay. Number one, a hairdresser. Number two. What is this? An ATM. ATM. Number three. Um, a farmer's market. Farmer's market. Four. A gym. Gym. Five. Uh, bakery. Bakery. Six. Uh, department store. Department store. Seven. A uh, shopping mall. Shopping mall. Eight. A uh, grocery store. Grocery store. Oh, yeah, that was all eight again. Okay. And that's all. You know that you can say shopping mall, you can say mall, shopping center, they all they are all the same thing. Todos são a mesma coisa. Às vezes vai aparecer no livro como shopping center é a mesma coisa do que shopping center, do que shopping mall, do que só mall. Todos eles são a mesma coisa, tá? Todos eles são shoppings, na verdade. Como é inglês britânico, às vezes aparece o center assim e o americano aparece é assim, o center. Nosso livro é britânico, por isso ele aparece assim, ou shopping mall. But it's the same thing, mas é a mesma coisa. You buy bread at... Guilherme Delgado. I don't understand, teacher. What do you do? Exercise three. Complete the sentence. You buy bread at what place do you buy bread here? I buy bread at the. Uh, where? In the bakery. At the bakery? At the bakery. You can also buy bread at the grocery store.
Number two. Danielle, you exercise yet? I don't think you, professor. You exercise yet? What place do you exercise here? Uh, uh, her, uh, her dresser. You exercise at the gym. This is here at the gym. Number three, Guilherme de Freitas. You can buy clothes at? Uh, at um, department store or, or shopping mall? Yes. Or Number four, Monique. You can buy vegetables at? At the grocery store or a farmer's market. Usually when you buy at the farmer's market, it's more expensive than when you buy at the grocery store. Because they say that the farmer's market is natural things. For the fourth exercise, watch the video, what places does Alison visit? Make a list. So we need to make a list of what places she's going to visit. I love living in Inwood because it's beautiful. There are so many parks and everything's open late. I work in a cafe in the neighborhood, but I'm also a writer. Today is Saturday. I love Saturdays because I don't have to work until later. I have a lot of things to do before I go to work. I have to go to the pharmacy. I have to go to the ATM, the grocery store. And I'd like to get an ice cream cone. The supermarket is right down the street. It's very convenient. There's also a drugstore right down the street. I love my bakery. They have the best muffins. Good morning. Can I buy this muffin? Sure. Will there be anything else? That would be all. Just a dollar fifty. Here you go. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. My hardware store is right around the corner. They have the most helpful clerk, but I don't need to go there today. There's a lot of great pizza places here, but my place is the best. I've lived in the neighborhood for one year. I moved here in August. I used to live downtown, but it was too crowded. I'm a lot happier here. The people in the neighborhood are really friendly. Everybody says hello as I walk by, and I know everybody's name. Another great thing about Saturdays is the farmer's market. This neighborhood has the best fruit and vegetables. Everything is fresh. Today, I need to buy some peppers and strawberries. How much are these strawberries? Five dollars. Yes, please. These strawberries are the most delicious I've had in a long time. Work is very convenient. It's right down the street. I had a friend when I moved into the neighborhood, and working at the cafe helped me make a few more. It's easy to meet people when you work in a local cafe. Everyone who comes in the cafe is so nice. Thank you. I really like my job. My boss, Alex, is great. When I first moved here, I really liked the neighborhood, and it gets better every day. If you ever come for a visit, be sure to say hello. So what places does Alison visit? Do you remember? Uh, HM. HM. What else? A grocery store. store. In the park. 
Pharmacy. Tem mais? The Park. É a Farmer's Market. Uhum. Farmer's Market. Outros lugares ela mostrou, mas ela não precisava ir. Ask and answer the questions. How often do you go to the places in exercise number two? Camila. How often do you go to these places? Para quais lugares eu vou? How often? Com que frequência você vai a esses lugares? Uh... You can choose one or two places to talk about. Uh... For example, how often do you go to the shopping mall? Or to the bakery, to the supermarket. The bakery is frequently. Okay. Mm. A grocery store frequently too. Gym, department store. Uh, department store. Oncia. Mount? Oh. And do you go to the gym? Once a week. Once a week. Good. Bia? Yes. How often do you go to these places? Um. I go to the bakery two times a week to the grocery store. I go like one time or two at a month. Um, in the shopping center, I go one time. Um, two. Yes. Um, I don't go to the gym and the ATM. Okay. Uh, um, just, and sorry. And just it, I think. Okay. Tony Eddie. I often go to the grocery store. Sometimes I go to the ATM with my cousin and I usually go to the farmer's market. Danielle? Daniele, how often do you go to these places? Uh, 
uh, uh, shopping center in bakery in the bakery how often every week every day once a month once a month mm -hmm. Guilherme Delgado, how often do you go to this place? In the quarantine, I never go to any one of this place. Yes, you are correct. But uh, in normal days, how often do you go? In normal days, I go sometimes to all, but I don't go to the gym. You don't go to the gym, good. Guilherme Freitas. Uh, a shopping mall, I go once a month. Once a month. And bakery, I go to once a week. And to the gym or to the hairdresser? Uh, the gym, I don't go. Uh, is this. Okay. Monique? Um, I go to the farmer's market uh, in Mondays. Mondays. I go to the shopping mall two times a month. In a bakery store uh, once a week. And the hairdressers uh, two times a month. Okay, good. So we finish for today. We stop it here. Next class we continue. And as, as I said before, next class we have next class on Friday. We have another quiz on your classroom page. Any questions so far? No? No, no. no. Thank you guys for coming. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.